On the 20th of July 2019, exactly 50 years after Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot on the moon, Italian ESA astronaut Luca Pamitano took off from Baikonur in a Soyuz for his second long-duration stay on board the International Space Station. Throughout his Beyond mission, Luca worked on a number of experiments and technology demonstrations. One of these experiments was performed with the Analog One rover. While orbiting Earth at 28,800 kilometers per hour aboard the ISS, Luca successfully took control of the rover back on Earth in the Netherlands. He expertly drove it to three sites and used the robotic arm to collect various rock samples as guided by scientists. This innovative rover uses force feedback so the astronaut has a better feel for the motion the robot makes. Remote control and interaction between robots and human will be vital to the future of space exploration. Luca Parmitano also became the third European commander of the ISS. A small ceremony on the 2nd of October marked this change of command. As commander, Luca Parmitano made a live call from the ISS to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP25, in Madrid, Spain. He described the profound experience of seeing Earth from orbit and spoke about the need to protect our beautiful planet as he encouraged world leaders to take urgent steps to combat climate change. In the six years that, uh, that have passed since I was here the first time and, and this year, I have seen with my own eyes that the effects, the terrible effects of climate change. And so I hope that my words can, can bring some strength, some human strength and human feelings to, to the some, somewhat hard to understand data that can feel cold to the eyes of the, of the common person. Together with NASA flight engineer Jessica Mayer, Luca also made a call from the space station to the Nobel Prize laureates for physics, including those who discovered the first exoplanet. A couple of days before ESA's exoplanet hunter Cheops launched from Kourou. During his stay on the International Space Station, Luca Pamitano also performed four spacewalks to repair AMS, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer instrument mounted outside ISS. This subatomic particle detector looks for dark matter, antimatter, and cosmic rays. The AMS spacewalks were some of the most complicated EVAs ever, as the instrument is difficult to reach and was never designed to be maintained in orbit. A daunting task and a true engineering challenge, particularly considering the critical situation Luca experienced during his previous mission, when his helmet filled up with water during a spacewalk. However, this time, all EVAs went according to plan. Congratulations to all those that worked to achieve the CVAs and the point that we are at. And hopefully with the next CVA, we'll find out that all this work was to good use. Thank you so much to everybody. Thanks, Luca. Great word, words. The uh, team very much appreciates that. In December, Luca welcomed both a Dragon and a Progress resupply vehicle to the ISS. Both capsules docked within two days, making for a busy time on board. With this long-duration mission, Luca and Isa gained even more expertise on human spaceflight. This knowledge will feed into the next phase of space exploration.